Hey guys, Jason Nedved here with Nedved Precision Shooting. I get asked a lot of what I'm running. Uh, so real quick, we're just gonna go over this build here. So this one here, I just got this Voodoo 360 from Voodoo, obviously. Um, and I am gonna say everything you see here, you can get on the website. I am a dealer for Voodoo with Vortex, with Hawkins, the JE, the Gray Ops, the Bipod, Tripod, all that stuff. Uh, the send it level, I got all that stuff. But anyway, Voodoo 360. So what that means is you have the 60 degree throw. So it, let's zoom out here. So it goes up that far and just nice little quick, quick flick. So I absolutely love that. This is a 40 MOA rail. I do have the 30s in stock, 30 MOA rails. Um, I just did 40 because I knew I was putting uh, this scope on there. So I just wanted a little bit more, um, MOA so I could dial out a little further because of the King of Point 28 mile you got to 511 yards So I wanted uh, the room with that with this scope and with that 40 MOA rail the barrel I'm running a 22 inch uh, MTU Bartland uh, and I did the 11 degree crown there uh, That's what I was told to do. I do sell um, I do keep in stock the 22 inch MTU threaded uh, just because a lot of people do like the threader, they'll either put a suppressor on there, a tuner. I always say, then they ask, do you have tuners for sale? No, I don't have tuners for sale. You want to know why? You don't need them with Voodoo's. Haven't seen it needed with Voodoo's. You know, you can look at other videos of how nice this is grouping. It's gorgeous. So, uh, so it is sitting in, this Voodoo is sitting in a JE G4. Um, I had it painted uh, orange because my other voodoo is in orange, so I just kept the trend going. Um, absolutely love this. Uh, there's snow all around here right now. Um, what I like about it is this kind of rubberized feel. So for us, it's not cold here in South Dakota um, during the winter. Um, I need to help. I need to get it balanced just a little bit more. I'm gonna put some weights on up here. Uh, working on those right now, but then we should uh, be nice and balanced. So I am excited for that. On top of the Voodoo, we have the Vortex Razor Gen 3 6x36. Absolutely love this scope. You can see on some of my videos when I put that trigger cam on here, you can actually see the bullet going through the air. So that's, you know, I can see that very often running this. You know, if I nick a piece of steel or whatever, you can usually see it with this optic. Love the clarity of it. Love the floating dot reticle. Love the two, tent, two tenths increments. Uh, love the way this feels. The way it locks down, forgot to put it on zero. Uh, everything about it, I absolutely love it. It is sitting in Hawkins rings, one piece tactical. Uh, I Because I use this thumb right here, you can't see it, but I always hook there, put my hand up there, and that's how I just get on my barricades and stuff. With the barricades, you see the Gray Ops plate, you see in all my videos, I run that quite often. Obviously I run it back here and then run up against that barricade stop, put all the pressure you can in. Um, it's no problem, it takes care of that wobble. I've tried it without. I definitely recommend the great investment of the Grabs plate. On the front here, we have the MDT Skypod, obviously also on the website. Uh, this is just a single pull, absolutely love it. Just grab it, go. Um, your pin's here, you can change your uh, angle there. So then you're able to um, change your height right away. I do have a really right stuff mount on it. Um, I like that quick lever. So right there, you can see it's not falling off my rail. I can slide it up and down. It's not gonna go anywhere. And then if I go all the way out, it'll just fall off. So I do like that. So I can just unclamp it, move it where I need it. And then it's, it's solid there. With the JE, I did put the night vision bridge on there. I do notice I grab it a lot. Obviously if the plate wasn't here, I do grab my rifle a lot there, both my uh, six dasher that's in here on the other JE and uh, this one here. Uh, what have we gone through? The trigger is a diamond. You can't really see it, but there is red in there. It's a trigger tech diamond. I like the flat shoe personally. Uh, I have that set about 7.2 ounces. Um, it's kind of what it averaged out to be. Uh, so that's uh, really nice. I like that. The mags I run for my Voodoo are just, are just the poly ones. Uh, just 40 bucks, poly ones, they run great. I had one issue at a match and that was my own fault. You know, I, I rim locked it, I didn't load it. I knew it and I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. You know, just push it in there, it'll be fine. 
it wasn't fine. So one issue, just switch out the mag, you know, end up cleaning it, but it's fine. Uh, even the tripod, that's Vortex. Obviously that's Vortex. And then you can see here, get switched around. You can see I do run the send it level here on the side. I got a 90 degree mount for that, the extended mount so I can get past the Vortex. Um, yeah. Oh, for uh, ammo and data. I used to use a lot of SK Red, or the Rifle Match. Now I use the Lapua Center X. So I use that um, for the bigger matches. Uh, if I'm just plinking around, playing around, I will still use that SK Red, SK Rifle Match. Um, but Center X is what I take to matches. Uh, it's not lot tested or anything like that. It's just, I just, as you guys know in my Kestrel, I just take the last three and run it off of that. Speaking of all my data, obviously I run the Kestrel. It's not orange to match, it's orange so if I drop it, I can find it. And then I put orange tape around it because I'm not the only orange Kestrel um, around. So I use the Kestrel 5700 Elite on the website also. Uh, I use this, got all my data in there. Um, so for my SK, I got Voodoo 360 for SK Red, and then the last three lot, and then Center X with this three lot, and then the other lot is the last three of that lot, all for the 360. And I do the same thing for the Gen 1 Voodoo that I also run. Um, that video is on YouTube also. Uh, but yeah, that's basically my setup. Um, highly recommend a Kestrel for what we're doing with these things. Uh, then with the 5700 Elite versus the Ford Off, you can put a lot of guns in the 5700 Elite versus the Ford Off. You only can put, I think like three or four rifles on that one because the program for the Ford Off takes up so much memory. For dope, I have the Coltac cheat sheet, obviously on the website. And then I use my NPS dope cards, uh, the, the PVC ones, comes with a marker and the Velcro to attach directly to this. Um, that's all I've ever needed. I got 10 spots in there for a reason. Um, I do split the wind column in half, so I will write two different winds in there. And then sometimes I'll split the elevation column in half, write my low wind there with the elevation. So elevation, low wind, and then the medium wind, and then high wind. Uh, so I do split up the card there with the fine tip marker that it comes with. It, has, it does erase. Um, very handy. I've been using it for years. Absolutely love it. Um, and so do other guys. Other than that, I do have the bag rider on here, the night vision bridge here, uh, barricade stop on there. I do run the Arca 6 on my JE just to get it extended out there a little bit longer, but I'm running a 22 inch barrel, so it doesn't look too awkward. Uh, if I was running an 18 inch barrel, it would be a little bit more awkward looking, but uh, this, this setup runs very, very well. Um, you guys can see that video of it shooting at zero to 190 to 275. Uh, the groups are in the horizontal plane is just great with this kind of setup. But if you would like to get something ordered or put together or um, set up like this, let me know. I got all the bits and pieces for it. Um, I do appreciate the support. If you have any other questions on the build, leave it in the comments. I'm sure other people have the same questions. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all those things. I do appreciate it, guys. Thanks.